folks, welcome back to the series on building stress resiliency. My name is Jamie Sable and I'm a registered psychotherapist working in downtown Toronto. For today's session, I really want to focus on um, some essential principles around cognitive behavioral therapy and specifically one technique that I use um, when I find myself getting triggered um, in a stressful situation or anxiety provoking situation. So this technique is called either the five column thought record or I like to call the STEER method. And the STEER method stands for situation, thoughts, emotions, evidence, and rational statement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through uh, the steps so that you have all the tools that you need to work through this exercise. So get yourself a piece of paper or you can use your um, computer or your note section if you find that easier and just uh, make five columns um, uh, vertically. And in the first column, you're gonna write the situation. And here's what define this, defines the situation. You're looking for um, where you were in which you found yourself getting triggered, who you with, and what time of the day it is. And the reason why we um, include this information is because sometimes we can get um, similar uh, circumstances or situations that trigger us, and that's really helpful so that we can try to come up with solutions to try to prevent these situations. So uh, jot down the situation in which you found yourself getting triggered by stress or anxiety. In the second column, you're gonna write down one or two thoughts about the situation. This is your uh, perception of uh, this particular situation. And the reason why we do this is because the whole premise around cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT is that it's not the situations themselves that, um, that trigger us or that cause the anxiety or stress. It is the perceptions that we have um, towards that situation that causes the reaction. So the idea here being if we can slow down the thinking and challenge those uh, irrational statements and replace them with healthier, more evidence-based ones, we can actually calm ourselves down and bring our bodies and our minds back to a neutral state. So in that thinking section, again, write down one or two thoughts that you had about the situation. Once you're finished that section, then move on to column three. In column three, you're gonna write down, this is the emotion section. So you're gonna write down the emotions in which you um, in which you, you feel that you're getting triggered. So this could be stress, anxiety, um, it could be fear, it could be sadness, it could be vulnerability. Whatever emotion that you're feeling, I want you to write it down here. And then I also want you to give it a rating where zero is completely neutral, you feel nothing, and 10 is you know, the, the worst, uh, most difficult, most uncomfortable, feel, uncomfortable feeling sorry, that, that you've had. So give it a, a numerical rating. Then once you're finished that section, then move on to column four. This is the, uh, the evidence-based section. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna look to the past to find evidence that challenges or that argues um, your thinking statements. So we're looking for evidence-based uh, facts that are going to challenge um, that irrational thinking that you've jotted down in column two under the thinking section or thought section. And gather as much evidence as you possibly can. Again, this has to be evidence-based um, from your past, so something that you cannot argue with, right? Okay, once you've finished that section, uh, then you're gonna go to the fifth column, which is the uh, rational thinking statement. So in this section, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your um, initial thinking statements and you're going to then go to your evidence-based statements and you're gonna come up with a new rational statement that is more a reflection of the evidence that you've, uh, that you've accumulated and collected, okay? So this is an exercise that I found very effective and it's really helpful to jot it down and write it down because when we're writing something down, it actually slow, it slows down the thought process. 
if we can slow down the thought process, we can really tap into the ways that our sort of monkey brain is really trying to get at us. And, and for the most part, and most of the time, it really is fear. So if we can get in, slow down, challenge our thinking statements and replace them with new, healthier ones, we can calm ourselves down and bring ourselves back to a neutral state. So try it out. If you get stuck, um, it is a practice, it's a new skill, so um, of course it's gonna be challenging, it's gonna be uncomfortable, so expect that. But if you get stuck, send me a message, I'm happy to walk you through it um, anytime I can, okay? So good luck, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow.